Hey, um, very strange to be in front of the camera, but um, I received many messages about the images I did recently about my process and uh, I wanted to give you some tips and behind the scenes uh, yeah, to, to, to show you that it's not that complicated if you know what, where to go and what to look for. So um, I'm talking about uh, these images, these uh, paintings and um, to give a bit of context, I, I really like what I'm doing at work. So for many, many years, I decided to not do anything personal because I was thinking, uh, yeah, I'm working on some something really cool. When I'm at home, I really don't want to, to do anything related to art or to, to work. But recently I decided to, yeah, to break the habit and just do something. And um, I, I don't really have lots of uh, free time. So I decided to just as a kind of challenge for myself, do one per day or per, per night at least because I'm working during the day. And because of that, I had to work, uh, how do you say, um, in a smart way. Um, to be able to, to achieve one per day. And that's what I'm gonna share with you, like 3D models, uh, where I, I uh, find them, the, the map, uh, this one, like I took photos of myself, same as this. So yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see that. So let's start with the, um, the 3D models. So most of the time people would go to uh, Turbo Squid, this website, and yeah, if you need like a, at some point, I wanted um, fishing boats. So you have many super nice model. Most of the time, it's um, you need to pay, of course, for them. But sometimes you can find some free models that can be good. And I bought a couple of models because like for five or ten euros or dollars, you can have some something pretty cool. Another one would be uh, Sketchfab. So on Sketchfab, again, if I write boat, you can, in the filters, choose something that is downloadable. And yeah, and you can, like, you can find some really nice models. You can also buy them. But uh, like in this case, this one is for free. So you can just go here and download the, the model and in blender you just need to i mean i'm using blender but it's working for pretty much uh, anything so source so you have the model so sometimes the textures are not uh, applied i mean you cannot find them so you can just click on that and boom so you have a boat. Uh, this one, everything is uh, not connected, but I'm gonna create one, uh, one mesh. Okay. Um, blah, 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 attack. For that rock, uh, I used a uh, Megascan, uh, which is super, super, super nice. Uh, you have tons of 3D models again, free and 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 also um, how do you say you need to pur purchase purchase them. Uh, but super nice. Uh, you can choose the resolution, the where you want to send it. So in my case, I send it to Blender, and you can build some really cool because the quality is pretty nice. So. You can just duplicate it, rotate, scale. Uh, oops. So you can build a scene pretty fast. Uh, whoop. And yeah, and you 
you can take your boat and put it there like if it was a, a wreck or something I'm gonna put a plane for the water uh, transmission blah 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 so it's not really like a, a tutorial about blender but it's so I don't know to me it's so fast and so convenient to use blender so yeah I mean you can build your scene and then scoot it and and create some renders and and uh, yeah and in this case uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, the frames so for example this is the, the render I would um, get from blender and then i would paint on top of it and add everything i want same for this um so i because i'm like a i had like a 3d generalist background i really like 3d and i'm pretty fast so so i like pushing things in 3d so i have uh, uh, less to do in, in 2d but i mean depending on the people it can be the opposite but I really like pushing it uh, pretty far in 3D because I'm kind of fast. Uh, yeah, and for example, for, for as I said, for this one, uh, <laughs> I took photos of me, of myself. Like with, I put a tripod behind me with the camera above my head and with my phone, I was controlling the, 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 the camera. And again, same for this. I was thinking, okay, I want to do three, uh, so I wanted to do this one, this one, and this, and this, in one day. So, how can I do it fast? Uh, taking photos as a reference. Um, then the map, it's something pretty cool I found on internet. Uh, it's it's this website, Asgard.github.io. And it's a fantasy map generator, so I guess it's used to to play some um, role games or stuff like that. But basically, uh, you can you can add anything you want. Like uh, it allows you to, so it can be pretty heavy sometimes. Um, but um, yeah, you can add many many uh, layers. And it also like you can add the trees and the sea and blah, blah, blah. And if you go in option, no, in tools, you have many, many things to to help you config, um, configurating, configuring the map. Uh, and for example, there is a cool thing called emblems. And it, uh, it creates random uh, yeah, emblems. So you can choose a different shape for the the shield, and it's going to yeah to generate stuff for you, and you can download them as a PNG or whatever you want. So there is some very very nice um, uh, tools on this website. I was very surprised, and you can also load and save your own map. So that's the one I did, and again you can in the uh, in the style. For example, I want to change the ocean, and you can put different patterns. Again, you can do it in Photoshop, but I wanted to push it as uh, as much as I could in in this thing. Uh, yeah, and you can add the reverse, you can add the name, changing the typography, like the font and everything super super cool uh, website I found to do the maps um, what else what else I can oops, show you uh, yeah the statues the statues I use this website called my mini factory and if you go in explore in scan the world you can find some I mean it's a community and they are sc scanning like a, a sculptures in, in museums so i don't know you can here for example i can type the louvre and then you have 
many, many pretty good quality scan, 3D scan in general. So for example, I can, uh, let's say I can download this one. So it's this, I go back in Blender, I can import it. Uh, what was the name of it? Okay. Takes a bit of time. And again, uh, with uh, um, Megascan, I, I would also download. Uh, yeah, so the scale is huge. Whoop. Yeah, that's basically how I how I would I would use it. Um, so yeah, the quality is pretty good uh, on this website. Where is it? Took uh, so I download many many of them, and then with the um, with the uh, 3D viewer from Windows, you can just I don't know quickly open them, change the lighting. Uh, and create your own library of it. So yeah, um, what else can I show you and explain? I think it, I think that's it for most of the. Let me switch back to the to this. Um, I think yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, it's pretty rough. The images is not pushed that much. And um, yeah, I always try to 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 work as much as I can huh? <laughs> in a smart way. So saving time is super important because I don't want to spend the whole night working on it. Um, so yeah, I hope it helped. Um, if you need anything or have any questions, just yeah, message me and I will be happy to reply. So. Have fun. <laughs>